Hello everyone, my name is Ellie and I'm a soldier and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. So in the last episode we just met Fleda and Fleda, or Edgeliet, the Queen Edgeliet, is Fleda's little doll. And, yeah. Um, what was that? I don't know, let's hurry! This is all wrong! What is it, Fleda? My garden! This wasn't how it looked before! They used to be the path straight ahead, but now it's gone! It's fine, Fleda. I'm sure everything will be alright. <laughs> Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Um, let's go! I want to go home soon. Do two little girls want to hear a joke? Listen here, you dumb tree or whatever you are! I don't have time for your stupid joke. Show me the way home this instant or else. Such a loud missy you are. Didn't your mind teach you any manners? What did you say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo, shoo, go away, you're pestering me. Come back after you learn some respect. <laughs> Calm down, Fleda. Let me try talking to him, alright? Hmm. <clears throat> Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's going to tell you anything anyways. Hello there, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now, and we're wondering if you could show us the way. Why, of course, it would be my pleasure, miss. What? Thank you so much, mister. <clears throat> now, there's a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you heard about it? I cannot believe this. Can you believe this, Edgley, yet? Hmm. Oh, I know about that one trick where you tie a thread to something at the maze and hold it as you're walking so you don't get lost. You're all right, miss. However, there's one that's even more effective. Really? Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It's important that you know all the methods to get out of the maze. Too bad you're a tree. Yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I want to go home. Hmm. Carrying on is truly an easy method. Carrying on is truly an easy method. Method, miss. Ugh. All you need to do is place your right hand on the right on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You will never get lost. I can guarantee you that. That's amazing. I never knew about that trick. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. What? Uh, thank you so much for your help. How do you even know he's not lying? Sorry guys, they're talking us in my room. How do you even know he's not lying? He has a tree. There's no way he can know how to walk out of a maze. He has never even walked. Mm. You are very welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care, especially with the noisy girl you have there with you. Why did you just call me you little piece of wood? <laughs> thank you, mister. Well then, let's go. Please let me meet the Mr. Tree. He's even helped us getting out of this maze. <laughs> Fine. Then you lead the way, Miss Goody Two Shoes. We'll see if you can get out get the, out of this stupid maze. All right. Hmm. Right. Hmm? So this is where we ended up. Are these yours? What are they doing here? These pieces always made me lose, so I don't think they could learn their lesson. I see. Hmm. Oh no, I'm going. Oh, I'm scared, guys. Hold on. I heard the Pumpkin King has come to visit. Aren't you excited? Pumpkin King? Ugh, I hate that Pumpkin King. Why? Mr. Tree looks very excited about him. That Pumpkin Thing thinks he's all glorious and mighty. I hate stuck up pumpkins like him. Right, Edgeliet? Don't you hate him too? Edgeliet's like dead. The first time the Pumpkin King cleared in the appeared in the kingdom, he ch ch challenged Princess Fleda to a chess game in exchange for a quiet place where he could raise little pumpkins. Princess Fleda lost to him and he wanted to just place in this garden. Hmm, that's because he was a big cheater. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Let's go. I don't want to go near that stupid scarecrow. Hmm? Why are we even here? Was this not here before? No. We'll never get home like this. Fleda, don't worry, Fleda. It will be all right. We will definitely get out of here, okay? How can you be so sure? We're 
feel lost and this is a maze, you know? I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. So let's try getting home as soon as possible, alright? Alright. Do you want to take a rest? We could sit on that bench over there. Um... Lida. Hmm? Do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Edgeliette. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Edgeliette is always there for me no matter what. I see. I'm glad. Why did you ask that? Do you want to be my friend too? <laughs> what? Me? No, I mean, I didn't ask I wanted to be your friend. I don't want to impose. <laughs> you dummy. You're already mine, Edgeliette's friend. Right, Edgeliette? Edgeliette's like I tried to murder you earlier. See? <laughs> Thank you, Fleda. Don't forget to thank Edgeliette as well. Oh, thank you, Edgeliette. Well, let's go. We can't stay here all day. Yes. I feel like I'm gonna die. I don't want to go that way. But the exit could be in that direction. I don't care, we're not going that way. Fine. Hmm, let's go this way then. I like Play but she's a little brat, but she's so cute. <laughs> you're close, you're close, you're so, so very close. Close to what, Mr. Pumpkin? Are oh, you very close to the edge? I believe it is time to make a pledge. I, Princess Flayda, rule of all, swear I'll be friends with you for all eternity. Now, now, miss, it's your turn. Either give Princess Flayda your word or expect to burn. Oh, I, I swear I will be friends with Flayda for all eternity. The pledge has been made, a precious promise that shall never fade. Oh, that's the of me. With this, we can be friends forever. Yes. But, if you ever betray me, you know what will happen. Doesn't she, Edgley, yet? <laughs> well then, let's go. Yes. Right. This way is right. What happened? I don't know, but I think we're in a different place now. Cry to Pumpkin Tron. Hey, we were here before. One way that she didn't want to go, right? Where else do we go? Okay, come on. Fleda, Fleda, Fleda. Is it Fleda or Fleda? Hmm. It's really pretty though. Come on. We're not 
getting anywhere like this. You've been utterly useless. Wait up. I'm bad at mazes, apparently. Pretty sure I already went this way. Holy da there she is. <laughs> you stupid tree. Let's take this and this, you despicable liar. Fight away, what are you doing? Calm down, why are you hitting him? He lied to us. No, he didn't play that. Calm down, all right? Then why did we get lost? It was my fault. Hm. Then why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Fine, just don't get us lost again. Yes. Gotta remember now. I don't know where I went. Probably gonna get mad and run away and be like, I'm sorry. I think I can kind of get it. Probably not. Should probably have paid more attention. But I suck! Down this way? I don't think so. Nope. Sorry, girl. I will find my way out of this maze whether it kills me or not. Once well, I find that one pumpkin guy with the confetti, then I might be able to find my way out. Yeah, I think I went this way. This way, right? Look the other way. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I found it soon. So glad. Let's go inside. I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. Cute music. Tell me now, Princess Fleda. How do you like to sing? How do you like to sing? 
Ding dong, ding dong. Tell me now, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. Ding dong, ding dong. Tell me now, then, what's the rule of spring? Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, please, miss. Don't you dare get it wrong. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't worry, my friend. I know that you figured this. My precious rule is not all pretty girls need a king. Welcome home, Princess Fleda. Please do come inside. Thank you, door. We are finally here. Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. <laughs> is this really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? I've had a very special pumpkin come and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Let me show you around. All right. Can I save somewhere, though? I love some bathing. The warmth that always makes me feel at home. Oh, here I can save. Play that more because I like this game. This is my Trump room. <laughs> Donald Trump. It's made especially for my favorite card games. Do you want to play with me? Oh, I. Hooray! Come on, let's sit down and play. I'm gonna fail. Let's start. I'll go first. I like this song. I'm scared. At least I saved. What a bratty laugh. I wasn't expecting you to be so weak. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget I'm too good at everything. Of course it would be impossible for someone like you to beat me. Just like you're a little brat. Do you want to play another match or are you too much of a coward to face me? Okay. Loser or all you losers, right, Edgeliet? Let's do something else. Follow me. What a little brat. This is why I used to drink my tea with Edgeliet. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> why, thank you, miss. <laughs> this is my big library. It's where I keep all my favorite tales. There's not one single boring book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fleda. I don't feel like reading right now. I'll give you 10 minutes to check some books out if you want. Thank you, Fleda. Complete biography of Queen Angelia by Princess Fleda. Boys and the Dirty by Henry de Halid. Read the book. Certain boys don't have a problematic condition, one that would only affect them during the night. One of the best, even the best doctors cannot explain it. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the one that had perished. Despite the various attempts to cure him of the curse, the boy kept on being thrown between visits during the night. Everything on this page on was scratched out. Oh, that's scary. No one around will ever know the secret of his. Such a privilege only belongs to me, my dear. It's the only thing written in the back. That's scary. I'll wait for Christmas or Princess Fleda. <laughs> I wish I had the time to read all these books, but unfortunately I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Edgeliet? Aren't you, fin are you finished yet? 
Yes, let's go. Let's go upstairs. I don't want to go there yet. You just said let's go upstairs, fool. the win or something. It'd probably kill me if I win. <laughs> it's funny. It's silly. Sorry guys, I'm not reading it. I'm kind of lazy right now. Actually, my special room. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a magic room. I'll turn it into anything I desire, and you'll have to, all I have to do is ask. I see. That's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. I don't really like red. Never mind that. Let's just choose between pink or blue. What do you like best? I like blue. Hmm. But I like pink better, so we're going with pink. God. All right. Now watch and learn. <laughs> Good day. What would you like to see today, princess? I'd like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Hold on, I need this shirt so I'm like getting uncomfortable. You may step inside. Let's go! Alright. Third, my, do you, these are my three special mirrors. Special? Mm hmm. There's the mirror of prayer, there's the mirror of truth, and then there's the mirror of judgment. What do they do? <sighs> Just come with me and I'll show you. This is the mirror of judgment. You judge whoever stands in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first. I'm just such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. <sighs> what? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, she's gonna be judged. Oh no, I'm fine, Flayda. Hey, this is an order. Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant. Mirror, mirror, I would like to ask you who's fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold the title, hold that title, Miss, and the person is you. I know, Edgelia. Me, but I. That's enough. God. See your eyes. Go, it deserved. <laughs> Let's just go on to the next one. All right. This is the mirror of truth. The answer I question is nothing but the truth. Ah, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who is the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It could only be you, Flayda. Right? There you go, it's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know, it's your turn, not mine. Hmm. Who am I? Who am I? I'm so sorry, miss, but that is a question that has no answer as of yet. How can that be? Oh well, that's how it is. Let's go on to the next one. This is the mirror of prayer. You can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Mm -hmm. Just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please don't go out to the candy forever. Very well, princess, your desire is my command. <laughs> it worked! I don't know why it's my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. But I want a pocket mirror. What? Why would you like something like that for? You already have one. Your desire is my command. <gasps> Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Plata. Here, you can take it. Oh. What? <laughs> you look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that? Just get rid of her or something, will you? I don't want you literally in my home. But I... Let's go. Follow me. Took you long enough. Don't even, don't ever make me, what a little brat. Don't ever make me wait like that again. Sorry.
This is my favorite room in the whole house. I can hear every night just look at the stars and talk with Edgley yet. This room is beautiful, Fleda. Isn't it? Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes. Oh. This sofa is so comfortable. I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes if I get to bring a blanket and I take naps, so Edgley gets one for me. Edgley, it really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Edgley? Edgley, it's like, no. See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You had me and Edgley. Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> oh, no, that's not what I meant. So I just feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time now, and I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you, Fleda. Hmm. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone. You'll never have to be. Excuse me. Huh. Edgley and I have always been here, and you always will be, right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> thank you, Fleda. Don't forget to thank Edgley, too. Oh, thank you, Edgley. <laughs> Good. Actually, I've always wanted to ask you something. What? You have? What is it? <laughs> In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What? What do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, you need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> well, maybe we can make a new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? Fleda, I don't know if I want to stay here. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine, too. No, I meant I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. She's going to kill her. I have to go. Go where? I don't know exactly where, but I have to know who <laughs> I am. Find out who you are. Fleda, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? <gasps> I'm not going to let you go anywhere. Fleda. <laughs> Scary. You've already found me. What else do you need? Or are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here with me. Do you understand? Do you un- <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. Now let's tell us decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Edgeliet? I don't need to tell me that. Oh, look, man, it's a shooting star. <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish. Oh, no, I didn't have time to make all the wishes I wanted. What did he wish for, miss? Oh, I... What do you mean you don't have any wishes? Everyone has to have even one or two. Sorry, Fleda. <laughs> You're so bland. Even the pumpkin makes better friends than you. Gosh. I'm getting tired of being here, so let's go play. Fleda, I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. My friend, you belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what will become of you, don't you? So, let's go play? Yeah. Answer me! Yes. Good, let's go. Well, we better end it here. Maybe I'll do another episode tonight. See you, let me go save. Thank you so much for watching guys.